Hey guys, it's Tamara Lyle Pluridon for BattlePetRoundup.com, and I'm at the Celestial Tournament to fight Terran Zoo. The first pet that I have in my lineup is kind of weird. It's Mr. Grubs. You can sub in almost any, uh, like, grub or larva or maggot or whatever right here. Uh, I have him with Consume, Acidic Goo, and Burrow. Secondly, you can see on the right my uh, my undead pickings are a little bit slim here. So uh, first one I have is the Scourged Whelpling. He has Tail Sweep, Death and Decay, and Plague Blood. And lastly, we have the Creepy Crate. And he has Agony, Curse of Doom, and Devour. Uh, we'll talk about each of those as we go. Uh, the reason I didn't go with this shade thing was because there's a whole lot of overlap with the whelpling, and uh, that's no good. Um, so first we have Yen, and the, re the reason we went with the Mr. Grobs is because he has an undead move, but he is not undead. Uh, and Yen's main offense is Critter, so if you put and undead here, you get hurt really fast, really bad. So, um, yeah, that's why we, uh, why we went with Mr. Grubs. And Mr. Grubs can generally hold his own. Yen is probably going to feign death here, yeah. And he's going to swap to the back. And next we have Bolo. I'm going to lead off with Acidic Goo. Um, Bolo has Blinding Powder. Which makes it so that uh, you can't hit as much. And I'm going to swap Mr. Grubbs to the back and bring out my creepy crate for the dots. Um, and then I'm going to swap to the Scourge Whelpling to get all my dots up. And in general, I do like the undead dots. I mean, what a shock, right? <laughs> Not that I like dots at any other time and any other place, yeah. So we just kind of wasted that turn because he had a blinding powder. There goes that, and I'll tail sweep to finish him off. And then uh, Yen is going to come back in. He's going to feign death immediately. So I'm going to do death and decay. Because that'll get applied anyway. Then we have Lee come out. I'm going to do plague blood. And then he's definitely going to kill me this turn. Oh no, he's going to heal. Because he has bandage. So I get in some extra hits on him. Which is good. I was stunned that round. So we beat him up pretty good and we'll switch back to the crate and get some dots off before he swaps in. Or before he gets myrtleized, as Bugs Bunny might say. Um, I'll try and put my last dot up. Yeah, there goes the heels again. And then I'll hit Devour. Um, and try and kill Lee off. Before I have to swap back to Mr. Grubbs. And uh, I think what we're gonna do, we'll consume and then as it go, and then we'll just burrow because first turn Yen is going to feign death again because and he dodges everything when he does that. So of course we mess because <laughs> why would we hit? 
There's that critter ability again. We'll hit, hit him with acidic go and that should finish it. I guess not, so we'll hit him with consume. <laughs> And that was a close one. I'm kind of surprised. Um, one thing that I, where I less lazy would do is definitely get up a different undead to go against him. The skirt, the uh, fossilized hatchling is a good pick. The stitch pup is a good pick. Um, there's some other good picks, but the lichling, if you happen to have one, um, ooh, light hawks are good. But um, basically. This fight is just really rough, and you may need to play around with your team that you have at your disposal a little bit so that you, too, can beat Terran Zoo. If you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe, and I will see you next time.